And Valentine brings it back into play. Kicks it outside 50. Smith sets himself in front. It's thumped away by East Fremantle. McManus trying to dive on the ball. Getting it now is Harding. High kick into the 50 metre line. Valentine sets himself. Lockyer from behind. Couldn't take the grab. Capel's got it now. Looks for support. Edgar gets it. Forward down to Lockyer. Lockyer from about 15 metres out. Turns around and kicks a goal for East Fremantle. So East Fremantle hit the front. 1-1-7. One, one, and West Perth just a solitary behind. Plenty of attention being paid by West Perth. Capel can't get a handle on the ball. Coming through now, West Perth. It's been thrown to the ground by Amaranti. Gravener absolutely taken up. Bilsic now onto the right boot. Trying to drive East Fremantle forward. Good use of the body lock here. Far too strong there for that player by West Perth. Halfback right looking for Stag or a McManus it was. Milton all with him. Two speedsters there. The Sandover medalist equal to the task goes across the ground. They can't find Darren O'Brien. Yeah, Courageous effort is. there. As Barnden, I think it was. In fact, it was Pop Joy stood his ground. This is Edgar, who went to ground. Capel went one-handed. Got it back to Edgar. Some clever football in there. Now a chance for Davies. There's plenty on behind players. Davies goes to full forward. Lockyer! Juggled three times in front of Dravener. And has taken the mark. Harding wins the tap down to McManus, but robbed of the ball by Mildenhall, and then Bob Joy claimed him. Gravener, half at left centre wing, to centre half forward, there's a good mark, Stat as Sanders drops back, drops back strongly to take the mark for East Fremantle. Downs for into the air, terrific mark taken by Harding. East Fremantle out of trouble again as the veteran, Steve Malaxis. One bounce, two bounces. He'll know exactly where Derek Hall is and knew when to kick the football. Over the top it goes. Chance for McManus to run onto it. Can't do so. Truella, good football. And back he goes again. Capewell brings him down. The forwards are tackling strongly. Back goes McManus. Now Durkay. Can't take possession of it. Taps it clear. The gang tackle, a pile driver. That's not allowed in rugby league. A hectic passage of play. Darren Capel picks himself up. And there's this. This is the pile driver or attempted. And he had him pinned too. I think they're preparing the service for uh, next year with the Western Reds, Trev. <laughs> the ground is in absolutely beautiful condition. There's Fuster. He's been doing okay in the ruck. Beautiful play, Malaxis. Experience shows through. Unloads gone. Goal from 45. He's put it through. So East Fremantle definitely having the better of this third term. West Perth coming in fits and starts. But East Fremantle move on to 8, 8.56. It's Hodge. only been really this quarter that East Fremantle really opened the can up. Uh, got quite a lead at the moment. Hobjoy won the free kick from a high tackle against Darren O'Brien. Oh! There's a spectacular mark from Sean McManus. <laughs> Abbott brings the ball back in. Here's Burrows. Takes a mark in front of Fuster. Kicks towards centre wing, and that's a fine mark by Lally, who's been pretty quiet tonight. Showing he is a worthwhile part of this East Fremantle side. On to Amaranti, who goes long. But he's dispossessed there. Came from Popjoy to Stag, and he can really punish them, and drills it for the ultimate seller. 